The operation that led to the death of two ADF rebels and the capture of their commander, known as Njovu, followed intelligence reports that the group was planning to cross back into Uganda through Katwe. As they had planned to go and undertake another mission, a second mission, the intelligence-led operation picked on them and we smashed them on the Lake Edward, where we captured the real commander of the operation, who was called Njovu. Although only two bodies were found, Major General Olum suspects that the rebels were seven in number. But we suspect four more have been killed into the water. As they tried to jump into the water, they drowned. We didn't pick any gun, but we are so sure that the guns have drowned with them. This is the same team that killed the white men, that killed these tourists in the park, and we are very happy that this has happened. We continue to search for these other thugs that could have remained, but we are so sure that what we have done gives us a lot of encouragement that these guys have really come to their end. A number of items have also been recovered, including army fatigue, a magazine with ammunition, nails, torches, and solar panels believed to be used to manufacture explosives. The LC3 chairperson for Katwe Kapatoro Town Council, John Bosco Kananura, said that they heard the exchange of gunfire in the area at around 1 a.m. Some few minutes past one, that's, what, that's when I got a phone call to the effect that these people had they been captured, some people were put out of action, the rebels actually. This is a reassurance to our tourists. He stressed that they agreed with the army to bury the rebels at the town council cemetery with the captured commander taken to Rusese Army Barracks in Mpondwe Lubiriha Town Council. The two bodies that are here are going to be buried in our limbo, that is Munyanyange. So we are using the services of the prisons. Already the digging is on of the graves and that's where they are going to be buried. Major General Loom urged the locals to always report any suspicious individuals and also restrain their children from joining such groups. Kimbia kwa giso, kimbia kwa diso, kwenda kwa mayor, kwenda kwa kipolisi, na wata kwa UPDF. So tunawamba...